Hello students. Good morning to all of you. I hope all of you are fine and healthy. We are discussing chapter 10 circle and today we are coming to the last part of this chapter. We, are, we have started exercise 10.5 in the last class and today I am going to complete this exercise. I hope what are the things we have discussed in this chapter all of you understood. Okay, so let us start the class. Okay, then from question number 8. Because I have uh, we have completed till question number seven of exercise ten point five. Question number eight: If the non-parallel sides of a trapezium are equal, prove that it is cyclic. So all of you know what is trapezium? One of the opposite pair is parallel. So if the non-parallel side means those sides are not parallel, the non-parallel sides are equal. In a trapezium, if the non-parallel sides are equal, then you need to show that it is cyclic. Cycling means all of you know if the sum of the opposite angle is 180 degree then you can say that it is cyclic in the case of quadrilateral is or no. So let ABCD is a trapezium ABCD is trapezium I have taken with AB parallel to CD okay AD and BC according to the question the non parallel sides are equal so I have taken I am taking BC is equal to AD clear. Now, draw AM perpendicular to CD and BM perpendicular to CD. Means two perpendiculars we have drawn to CD. BM, AM and BN. Now, you can see triangle AMD and triangle BNC. First, try to show these two triangular congruent. If you can show these two triangular congruent, then you will get this angle and this angle equal. See? After that, what will happen? Uh, in triangle AMD and triangle BNC, AD is equal to BC. These two non parallel sides are equal, it is given. And angle AMD is equal to angle BNC. By construction, we got it's 90 degree. Also, AM is equal to BN. Why these are equal? Because AB is parallel to CD. And the distance between two parallel lines here, suppose these two lines parallel, the distance between two parallel lines always equal. So, I have written perpendicular distance between two parallel lines. Means this is a perpendicular I need to say the perpendicular distance between two parallel lines are always equal. That is why AM is equal to BM. Clear? So using RSS triangle AMD congruent triangle BNC. If they are congruent, then already I told you we need to show this angle C and angle D are equal. So using CPCT you can sort it. So angle ADC is angle BCD, CPCT. After showing these two angles are equal, we know that. Angle BAD, this angle BAD, this angle, angle BAD plus angle ADC means sum of this angle, this angle and this angle. See, if AB is parallel to CD, then AD will be the transversal or not? If AB is parallel to CD, then AD is the transversal. If AD is the transversal, then sum of these two angles, angle and angle D is how much? 180 degree. Same side of the transversal. So, written angle B also angle BAD plus angle ADC is 180 degree. AB parallel to CD, SST. SST means same side of the transversal. Now BAD. Okay. Now ADC we can replace by BCD. Why? Because already we proved that ADC is equal to BCD. So replace ADC by BCD. So now what do we got? We got this angle BAD is equal to angle BCD. This angle, see? Yes or no? See, here I have written BCD. Maybe you are getting confusion that. Uh, actually, I need to write BCN means ADM is equal to BCN. Yes, correct. You are correct. ADM and BCN, but I have written directly ADC is equal to BCD. Yes or no? See, this angle D is this angle. The angle ADM means uh, this angle, and angle BCN means also this angle. That is why I have written directly angle ADC is equal to angle BCD. That is why I have replaced ADC by BCD. Now, see, we've got sum of this angle in this trapezium angle A and angle C is how much? 180 degree. Yes or no? Yes? 
and this equation shows that the opposite angles are supplementary. Supplementary means 90 degree. Means we need to show that the sum of the opposite angle is 180 degree. Then you can say it, it is a cyclic. Because in a cyclic quadrilateral, the sum of the opposite angle is always 180 degree. So, this is written. This equation shows that the uh, equation is this one shows that the opposite angles are supplementary. Hence, but or therefore ABCD is a cyclic. ABCD is cyclic. Clear? Means that the prism ABCD is cyclic. Next question. Two circles intersect at two points B and C through B. Two line segments A, B, D and P, B, Q are drawn to intersect the circles at A, D and A, D and P, Q respectively. Prove that angle SCP is angle SCP. First try to see the figure. This is the figure. Maybe after looking at the figure you are getting confusion. No? And looking at it is so tough. But see nothing is there. It is very very easy. According to question it is given that let's see the question two circles intersect at the two points b and c through b c two circles intersect at b and c and these are angle at a b uh, sorry a b d p b q these are line line segments or not now see here what need to prove that we need to prove that angle s c p is equal to angle q c d yes then see angle ACD is this ACP is this angle and angle Q, QCD is this, this, this angle this angle is equal to this angle you need to prove these two angles are equal so just ma marking the angles this is angle 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 okay in figure join AP first you join AP after joining AP you are getting this segment now see from this segment you are getting this angle too and also from this segment you are getting this angle and we have a theorem that angles in the same segment are equal. That means here angle 1 is equal to angle 2. They are from the same segment. That is why I have written angle 1 is equal to angle 2 angles in the same segment. This is equation number 1. Now, see this PBQ and ABD intersect means uh, uh, sorry PBQ and ABQ just see ABD see properly this angle 2 and angle 3 they are from what? Particularly opposite angles. And we know that particularly opposite angles are equal. So angle 2 is also equal to angle 3. So angle 2 is equal to angle 3 POA, particularly opposite angle. Okay. Again, or join or also join key DQ. After joining DQ, you can see this segment. And from this segment, you can see this angle 3 and also this angle 4. So again, you can use angles in the same segment. Means angle is 3 is equal to angle 4. Angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Angles in the same segment. Now see in number 1. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. 2 is equal to 3. And 3 is equal to 4. That means angle 1 is equal to angle 4. That is written from 1, 2 and 3. Angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Angle 1 is what? ACP. And angle 4 is QCD. So you have got the result. See what I have done. First of all you have to join this one. Then you get the same segment. This this segment you are having two angles two and one they are equal angle one is equal to equal two then we are looking that two and three form particular opposite angle so angle two is equal to angle three again three and four are angles in the same segment from this segment so angle one is equal to angle two two is equal to three three is equal to four that means angle one is equal to angle four okay next question question number twelve prove that a cyclic parallelogram is a rectangle a cyclic parallelogram is a rectangle. Try to understand the question. A cyclic parallelogram is a rectangle. Okay. Let ABCD be, be a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. If ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral, actually see, here uh, I am taking ABCD cyclic quadrilateral, but according to question, this is also a parallelogram. Clear? Then, in a cyclic parallelogram or cyclic quadrilateral, the question is, uh, we, we know that the uh, sum of the opposite angle is 180 degree. It means angle A plus C is 180, angle B plus angle D is also 180. Angle A plus C 180, angle B plus angle D is equal to 180. Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. We know that opposite um, angles of a parallelogram are equal. Also, it is said in this question that this is this is also a parallelogram. Means this cyclic, I, I am taking cyclic quadrilateral, but according to question is given that ABCD is also a parallelogram. If it is a parallelogram, then opposite angles are equal. We know the properties of parallelogram that this angle, uh, opposite angles are equal. Means angle A is equal to angle C, angle B is equal to angle D. Now try to understand that if the sum of the 
टू एंगल्स इज ऑन एट टी अकॉर्डिंग टू साइक्लिक प्रॉपर्टी एंड ऑल्सो दे आर इक्वल इन मीन्स मेजर विज एंगल इज हाउ मच नाइन्टी डिग्री एवरी लाइक दिस वे एंगल ए प्लस सी इज वन एट्टी सिंस एंगल ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी ऑपोजिट एंगल्स ऑफ पेरोग्राम देन यू कैन रिप्लेस एंगल सी बाई ए अगेन देन एंगल ए प्लस एंगल ए टू आइज एंगल ए इज इक्वल वन वन एट्टी इफ यू डिवाइड इफ यू ट्रांसफर टू ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड यू गेट टू नाइन्टी टाइम्स दैन मीन्स टू इंटू नाइन्टी वन एट्टी सो ए एंगल ए इज इक्वल नाइन्टी इफ एंगल ए इज नाइन्टी देन एंगल सी इज ऑल्सो नाइन्टी एंगल एन सी इज नाइन्टी एंड सिमिलरली यू कैन फाइंड आउट एंगल बी एंड डी इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू नाइन्टी मीन्स ऑल द एंगल्स आर नाइन्टी डिग्री सिमिलरली एंगल बी इज इक्वल ए इज इक्वल टू बी इज इक्वल टू सी इज इक्वल टू डी सो मच नाइन्टी डिग्री मीन्स ऑल द एंगल्स नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड इट इज अ पेरोग्राम सो अपोजिट साइज आर इक्वल सो यू कैन सर एट अपोजिट साइज आर इक्वल एंड ऑल्सो इज एंगल इज नाइन्टी डिग्री दैट मीन्स यॉट इट इज अ रेक्ट एंगल और यू कैन राइट शॉर्टकट दैट इफ यू कैन फाइंड दैट इन एनी पेरोग्राम ऑन ऑफ द एंगल इज नाइन्टी डिग्री दैन ऑल्सो यू कैन सर इट इज नाइन्टी डिग्री इट इज रेक्ट एंगल वाई बिकॉज इफ यू फाइंड ऑन ऑफ द एंगल इज नाइन्टी डिग्री इन ए पेरोग्राम That means all other angles are also 90 degree. That is why you can write this one also. Or parallelogram of ABCD has on of its interangle 90 degree. Therefore, ABCD is a rectangle. I have all of you understood these three sums. Okay. So please uh, try to complete these two homework. Question number 10 and 11. Okay. Question number 10 and 11. I hope uh, all of you understood this chapter. the conception that theorems what i have told you in case any doubt regarding any concept or any questions please get back to me in the evening okay so this chapter today i have completed thank you have a nice day